Hello, hello, hello. Ah, I have to take a, a sip of my wine and it's Moscato. It's Authentic Conversations Emoji. I know it's kind of late for you guys, but it's not too late in America. Um, yeah. Anyways, while we're waiting for people to come on, bear with me. So, I was scrounging around on, on social media today and I ran across something from Morayo Afolapi Brown, quite surprisingly enough. Um, she decided to out herself today. Mor My, Morayo Afolabi Brown came out on social media and it seems like everybody seemed to, to miss it on purpose. Now, if there had been anybody else, they would have gone after her, gone after her real hard, but that's okay because we're going to break down the conversations. While we're waiting for people, I need you guys to share the video for me. Share the video, share the video, share the video. This is very important because we don't want parents to be beating up their children, believing that if they abuse, physically abuse their children, that they can get them cured of, of um, homosexuality and their identity will be switched to becoming a, a heterosexual. So wherever you are, say hello first and foremost. And I'll be right back. So, hi, it's Moji Solo Wilson again. How are you guys? I hope you're having a great day. I hope everybody's wearing their mask and staying pretty much safe, right? As safe as you can get. Because it seems like the coronavirus is not the only virus that's affecting our people these days. Stupiditis is a virus that unfortunately cannot be cured with just a mask on your face. Actually, the mask might work because maybe if they put on a mask to cover their faces, you know, they won't be able to say stupid things like a lot of people seem to be able to get away with these days. So, like I said, I was on, on social media and I ran across Afalabi Brown has always been on my radar for some reason. She did a show once and said homosexuality is a mental illness. I was very upset with her, but I let it go because I'm a nice person. And then on the show that I watched, she actually said she used to be gay, which means she came, oh, she didn't say she used to be gay. She said she used to think she was gay. So when you think you're gay, it means basically that you've been engaged in homosexual activities. It means that she had relationships with women. She also claimed to be, while she was in college in America, that she hung out with um, the head of the lesbian, like, you know, lesbian is like a country. <laughs> or a community or a private club, you know, homosexuality for most intelligent people, you already know it's part of our identity. Nobody chooses to be gay. At least I didn't. She mentioned in her video, which I'll play in a few minutes while you share this video for me, that she thought she was gay. So she hung out with the gay community and she um, dressed like a boy. Obviously, I don't look like a boy. At least I hope I don't Not with all this going on. But she claimed she dressed like a boy because in her mind, he now warped tiny little pea brain mind, I have to take a deep breath, sorry, <laughs> that she thinks dressing like a boy makes you homosexual. I am a feminine woman. I do not wear baggy clothing. I am not a, a female of masculine center. So for me, for to hear somebody say that, and the reason why it really upsets me a lot is that because of people like that is why I stayed in the closet. Today is actually the anniversary. 2006, I came out. So it's very personal. This is very personal to me. When, when somebody goes on national TV in Nigeria, a country that has mainly homophobic people, that has criminalized LGBTQ people and wants to put us in jail for 14 years. Really? We didn't tell you we can't pay our mortgages or our rent, but Nigeria created a law that puts LGBTQ people in jail for 14 years because of people like this. So. Moraya Falabi Brown of TVC continues to go on. Your view is the name of the show. She goes on to say that um, her brother that she lived with allowed her to go to a, gay, a strip club. Your brother allowed you to go to a strip club, but he beat the gay out of her. Honey, I lost it. I absolutely lost it because if you are LGBTQ, you know how hard it is to walk our walk. I don't care what country or planet you live on. It's hard enough being gay in America. Forget being gay in Nigeria. I have been through so many conversion therapies. I tried to kill myself three times because I thought there was something wrong with me and I was mentally 
something was off, not realizing that it's not me, it's the homophobes that are actually mentally, you know, unbalanced. Because most normal people know that being homosexual has nothing to do with anybody. It's a personal, it's like you didn't wake up to be heterosexual. So obviously you, you're not going to be gay because you choose to be gay. I know a lot of straight women. There's nothing in the world that will make a straight person go gay. Nobody makes you go gay. You don't think you're gay unless your sexuality is questionable. Moriah Afala Brown admitted to hanging out with the gay community which means she had gay relationships. She had lesbian relationships. We all know that you don't hang out with the gay community unless you're gay. She said she wore baggy clothing. Her brother beat the gay out of her. Look, Moriah Falabi Brown, me that I'm sitting here. My first girlfriend is a top designer in Nigeria in the high society of today. She still has girlfriends, but she's married men. She can't seem to keep her marriages together. And I understand why Mor Moriah Falabi Brown will be in the position that she's in. Your father is Mr. Brown. Okay? But you mm, let me not go there. You go and settle for less. Now it's our fault. I'm living my perfectly regular life, minding my own business, running my own businesses, living a fantabulous life, married to one of the best doctors in the freaking world. Psst. But you're upset. You think they need to slap us. Silly. What, you're do, what you did on your show is despicable, it's immoral, it's unethical, especially since you're not a professional, especially since you're an ex-gay woman or a woman that's still gay. And I'm telling you my view. Your show is called Your View. This is my view. Authentic conversations is what we have here. If you can handle it, share the video. If you cannot handle it, don't share the video. Actually leave if you can handle authentic conversations. Bottom line is let me play the video for you guys, right? I'm going to share my screen, which means I'm going to disappear, but you'll continue to hear my voice, all right? So we're going to share the screen and we're going to continue to have conversations while I'm sharing the screen, but listen out and then, like I said, share this video for me because it's so, so very important for you guys to understand that bullying people is really not the way to go. Bullying people is not the way to go. All right, we're sharing the video. All right, sharing the audio. Just bear with me one second. I picked the show. And now we're going to play this video and we're going to listen to her. Yeah. So I'm going home. Mm. They don't have a home. So this is it. Home. They are home. So how do I raise them to show that they don't go to get into drugs? You don't have that liberty to just become gay and say, okay, yes, oh, yes, I am I'm different. I am there. Because I had that phase in my life. So I shared it to you. I thought I was gay at some point. I was a girl, I just felt I had my accent, I looked out, I just felt like the boys did not like me. And I just, I started hanging out with the gay community. There was a lady, her name was Sarah, she was the head of the gay, gay lesbians in, 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 in school. She was at the first, at the top floor. That was her room, people feared her. All the girls. And I used to go there and hang out with her, her name was Susan. So I, so I had that phase. My brother had to slap it out of me. Then I came home and started dancing with the baggy jeans and I'm already away. He, he had to slap it. I remember him beating me. As an adult in the US, hmm. are you okay? When my mother sends me cream, I wanted to get me a So while we're doing that, right, we're going to just go back to the regular screen. So you guys heard her admit that she was gay. She hung out with the homosexual, the lesbian woman. There's three things that really bothers me about this. She said she hung out with Susan, the head of the homosexuals in school. First of all, homosexuals is not a club. There's, there's no club called homosexuals or lesbian club. We're all, it's like you normal heterosexual people, there's no heterosexual club. There's a gay person that meets another gay person. She dated, because you don't just hang out. You know, she dated Susan, the lesbian woman. So at one point, Morayo Afalabi Brown, was is gay but chose to have a beard is what we call it that's for women that's marry men like i did many many years ago my first girlfriend at 14 then i came to the u.s and of course i only dated men for many many years but i was depressed because i didn't know the difference and then during therapy i found out that you know this is the problem i came out to myself today in 2006 i left my ex and went away on my own business 
and started to do therapy and do research. Now, this woman also says her brother physically abused her. He slapped the gay out of her. How does somebody slap the gay out of you? I understand that to live in Nigeria, sometimes people are not able to, they don't want to come out. It's not that they're not able to come out. There are people like Pamela Aida that lives in Nigeria. She's a gay woman. She's living her own life. She's not bothering anybody. She's contributing to society. She's not shagging anybody for money. She has her own business. We all do our own things. That's number one. Then number two, she said, because boys did not like her, so she thought she would go with women. You ugly, ugly, ugly human being. You're ugly on the inside and you're ugly on the outside. Women don't like women because they're cute or whatever. Or you don't go out with a woman because boys don't like you. You go out with women because you like the relationship with women. Admit that. There's nothing wrong with you being gay. And that's part of the problem. You're being mentally brainwashed. Now, she also said that because boys don't like her she thought she would date women really how many of you elder of you heterosexuals on my pages will date women because you don't have a date with boys you just what that makes you a, anything kind of sexual you're not heterosexual because the moment you start dating a woman you're either bisexual hetero um, homosexual or asexual and asexual people don't have sex so if morayo afalabi brown dated um, dated Susan in college, then Morayo Afalabi Brown is either bisexual or she's, um, it's either she's bisexual or she's gay. One of the two, you can't be in between. There's no in between. You don't go out with women first and then decide, oh, because boys don't like you, now boys like you. Yet you're married to Baba Shukura doing what? Baba Shukura that you're supporting at home because you cannot live your authentic life. Are you kidding me? Let's be real here. I don't have a problem with somebody saying, oh, I cannot handle being gay. That's okay. You don't want to be. But don't promote physical abuse because what you do on your show, a lot of Nigerians watch your show believing that you have any some kind of common sense or you're, you're a compassionate human being because you're absolutely not. All you're doing is promoting. All you are doing is promoting violence against homosexuals, which is absolutely unacceptable. When you're telling people that your brother slapped homosexual out of you, you're telling people in Nigeria to go around slapping homosexuals because then they will be cured of homosexuality, which is a lie. If, no, if you did not choose to be a heterosexual person, why in the world did you, do you think people like me choose to be gay? Why do you think 10% of the population of any country in the world choose to be gay? The statistics are out there. I would think because you are an intelligent, you seem to be an intelligent person. I would think because you seem to be an intelligent person, you would have done a lot of research. You would have done therapy. You would have talked to your, your people abroad. You would have spoken to the QVC people. You would have asked questions and you would have done a lot. Okay. My problem is with this kind of shows that brute, that bashes homosexuals, in a country, thank you, Olua Dare. That's your taste. That's your choice. She's more beautiful than me. I didn't say she's I'm more beautiful, but the bottom line is you don't even have your own picture. You're probably another gay undercover person in the closet that's hiding. Okay? She's entitled to her opinion to say that somebody beats the uh, homosexuality out of her in a country with stupid people like you that believe everything that stars say that believe in, what's his name, that believed in Hush Poppy, that follows Hush Poppy, people like you, two million people following Hush Poppy. Nobody's following Dangote, that can teach you how to make money. Oh, what's her name? He's talking about uh, her brother beat homosexuality out of her. Basically telling parents and people, retarded people, to go around beating homosexuals because they will kill homosexuality. Can somebody block this Olua Dari for me? Physical abuse is called discipline. No, I grew up in Nigeria. I know the difference between physical abuse. If somebody beats you like that, like she said she was beating, that's physical abuse. What you guys, that's why half of the youths are running around crazy. That's why half of the youths are doing 419. That's half, why half of the people are mentally disturbed. Half of Nigerians are doing uh, mentally, they suffer from mental illness. Half of the people in Nigeria are committing suicide. Somebody block this guy for me. Okay, homosexuality is not allowed in Nigeria. No, it's not allowed, but we're there. I am a full-blood Nigerian woman. There are Nigerians in Nigeria that are gay. 
So for you, for whatever you believe, homosexuality is not allowed in Nigeria. 419 is not allowed in Nigeria. Stealing is not allowed in Nigeria. Um, cheating is not allowed in Nigeria. Yet all you people cheat on each other. Your husbands cheat on you. Your wives cheat on you. Everybody's sleeping with everybody in Nigeria. Your, mor your moral compass is absolutely broken. Moray of Alabi Brown is the same woman that said she would never allow her husband to bathe her daughter because she thinks, obviously, they were doing a show on pedophiles and men that rape girls and how it's unsafe for men to be around daughters and things like that. Morayo Afolabi Brown said she would never, and it's out there, it's on video. Morayo Afolabi Brown said she would never allow her husband to date, to bathe her child, basically calling the guy a pedophile. Now, if Morayo Afolabi Brown was happy in her life as a straight woman, I don't like cowards. If she was happy in her life, there would be no business even talking about homosexuality on this particular show because we're talking about discipline. How do you discipline your child not to be gay? I came out, I was 39, 39, for 2006, I came out. I was almost 40. I'm now 55. I got married to my wife at 52. Because people like Morayo Afolabi Brown, ignorant people like that, and Oluwa Dare Fedun, who I bet is gay anyways, because... You know, only gay people, a lot of gay people, when people start bashing you or trolling you, it's because they themselves are gay. A lot of gay people, like Afolabi Brown, Morayo Afolabi Brown of TVC, that claim she used to hang out with gay people and she used to think she was gay, which means she had sex with, intercourse with women. She had romantic relationships with women because for you to think you were gay, you must have had a sexual, romantic, physical attraction to a woman for you to think you're a lesbian. Your attraction never leaves. Your attraction to the opposite, to the same gender never leaves. You can conform and bend. She, you don't marry a man now. But notice she didn't marry the man on the top of the tree. She went and picked one Jekuredu man that would just shut up and do whatever she wants him to do because that's what most of us do when we're in the closet. You cannot get your authentic, true love when you're in the closet. I continue to say it. But that doesn't even bother me so much. Why are the Nigerian LGBTQ activists not speaking? Why are they not talking about these things? Why are the Nigerian LGBTQ activists always doing HIV testings? I know the number of children and women and boys and girls that commit suicide every year that we chase. Uh, this year so far, two LGBTQ people have committed suicide in Nigeria. Two. One of them hit the press. She's a butch girl. See, nobody's play acting here. This is not a game. This is our lives that Moraya Afalabi Brown is talking about. This is our life. This is my life. For Moraya Afalabi Brown to sit on a show and tell on her show and tell people her brother beat, beat the gay out of her, slapped her, beat her, and they should go. You're basically telling parents to go and beat their gay children. You're telling your neighbors and your friends to go and beat gay people. That's what you're doing. In what planet is that okay? Because you can't come out of the closet. Nobody told you to move to Nigeria to, because you can't make it in American TV. You did not make it in the American TV. I was a talent manager for seven years. Seven years. And Neologia was my client. I put her in a movie with um, Jodie Foster. You could not make it in the entertainment industry in, in America, so you moved back home, and you could no longer live your life. And by the way, if we ask questions, if we start to dig, we'll find out that you're still in the gay community in Nigeria. My job is not to out people. I know a lot of actors, lawyers, doctors, name it, that are gay in Nigeria. I'm not here to out anybody, but she outed herself. She said, I used to think I was gay. So I hung out with Susan, the head of the gay community in my school. First and foremost, there's no head of any gay community. This is not a country that's run. We did not, we, gay people don't have a president of the gay community. We're just gay, living our own normal lives. For you to put it out there, shame on you. Shame on TVC, shame on all of you guys. And we downloaded it in case they take the video off. I have 10 people that downloaded the video already. So don't even tell, I try and take it off of YouTube. Shame on you for advising people to go out there and slap the gay out of gay people. Women, children like me that stayed, that ended up marrying men because we thought we were straight or we thought we should be straight. We didn't, I never, I always knew I was gay. But because people kept telling me, oh no, it's a mental illness. Oh no, you're an abomination. Oh no, you I lost 30 something years of my life. 
marrying the wrong people. There are so many Nigerian women that are stuck in horrible marriages because they are gay and they didn't make the right choices in life. But yet we continue, you continue to tell them lies. You continue to tell them that they're not good enough. You continue to tell them the last time you did your show, you told gay people that it's a mental illness. Being gay is not a mental illness. There's data out there. There's been research. There's been all kinds of stuff in America. They took it off the list of mental illness many, many years ago. Being LGBTQ is not a mental illness. Being LGBTQ cannot be cured. If it could be cured, I, Moji, would have been cured. I slept on the grave of Oshofa for seven straight days, seven nights in the tall tomb of Oshofa. I was taken to the sea where I love conversion therapy, where they scrubbed my body so much and I was bleeding. I came back to America and I was still gay. I fasted one week a month for God knows how many years, trying to pray and pray and fasted, went to church and prayed, went to this. It's not, tell, let me tell you, 15 years in church, I was an usher. I was a Sunday school teacher. Name it, I did it all. I was serving God Sunday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, sweeping the floor of the church, trying to get cured for something that, uh, that God created me as. The day God spoke to me and said, Moji, I have a mission for you. I was trying to kill myself. I was in the hospital. When God said, it's not your turn. I have a mission for you. And since then, I've been doing exactly what I believe God sent me to do. A lot of you guys are sitting in your homes looking at this video thinking, oh, my God, what is she talking about? Oh, my God, how bold is she? It's not a matter of bold. See, when you've tried to kill yourself three times and God did not take you, you understand that your life is valuable. You understand that God has a purpose for your life. You understand that God does not make mistakes. I have no beef with Moriah Afalabi Brown deciding to get a beard. Not my problem. I have no beef with her being gay and choosing not to live her authentic life. Not my problem. She's entitled to her choices in life. What she's not entitled to do is do a show about discipline where she did not even have to talk about gay, straight or crooked. No, where she didn't have to touch the homosexuality issue, but because she has not come to terms with her homosexuality, she keeps bringing it up on every show. On this particular show, they're talking about disciplining a child. Two people have common sense on that show. Two, Mrs. Miss Kuti, and uh, I do. I think the other girl is Jumoke or something like that. I don't remember her name. But bottom line is two. Moraya Afolabi Brown is the most educated illiterate person I've ever met in my life. Her views are so backwards. I don't even understand why you guys gave her a show. Number one, I don't understand because look, the people you watch, the people you follow, are, speaks volumes about you. Volumes about you. Nigerians are educated, a lot of Nigerians are educated illiterate. A lot of Nigerians are, have a myopic view about life. Yet, yet, there are a lot of good Nigerian straight people out there that understand about the fact that human rights is human rights. For Morayo Afolabi Brown to go out there and encourage physical abuse of LGBTQ people, it's unacceptable. And we should not stay quiet. I'm sick and tired of the hush hush mentality in Nigeria, among Nigerians. I'm sick of the fact that a lot of the LGBTQs in Nigeria are not speaking up. I'm sick of the fact that the LGBTQ NGOs that are collecting hundreds of thousands of dollars from America, UK, all over the world, hundreds of thousands, are just flying around the world doing whatever it is they're doing. And when push comes to shove, it's those of us in America that are really speaking out. Those of us in America that are helping people with doctor's bills, medical bills, school fees, da 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 da. When are we going to stand up, start to stand up for ourselves as human beings first? When are we going to start to become our brother's keepers and stop thinking about money? Moriah Afolabi Brown is a woman, obviously in the closet, that's suffering because she can't come out. And she sees all these young, fabulous people living their lives. No matter how bad you want to talk about James Brown or Bobrisky and the rest of them, or Pamela Ida and all of them, they are my, they are champions. They're living in Nigeria. They're living their authentic life. They're strutting around that country, doing their own things. The stones you people threw at, at, at Bobrisky, she used to build mansions. We are gay. We are lesbians. We are bisexuals. I'm not a bisexual. I'm a gay woman. But there are people out there 
You have to understand that there's difference in sexualities all over the world. There's difference. It's the same thing like everything. Nigeria, the study where it says the ignorance and denial, Nigerian situation is often pathetic on many issues. I get it. But when it comes to somebody encouraging the community that's already special in their way of thinking, very, very backwards bunch of people, that's why the government is the way it is, raping them every day, but they're too busy talking about LGBTQ issues and people. Instead of facing the major, they face things that don't concern them. How does two adults, consenting adults, concern you? And for Moriah uh, Afalabi Brown to be encouraging people to go and beat the LGBTQ community because her brother beat her. Her brother was physically abusive. Shame on you, Mr. Afalabi, or whatever your name is, wherever you are. Shame on you. Shame on you for physically abusing your sister to the point where you damaged her and she doesn't have the balls to live her authentic life. Shame on you for sending your sister to a go go bar, to a strip club. You are a Christian. You sent your sister to a strip club. You gave her permission to go to a strip club. Strip club where women are being used like toilet paper, where women are being brutalized, raped, marginalized. You sent your sister. Is that how you raise your children by sending them, Mr. Afal Mr. Afalabi? Do you raise your children by sending them to strip clubs? The city of New York should go and take your daughters away from you because I'm scared. And then Afalabi said, uh, Murray Afalabi Brown said her brother gave her alcohol to drink. Alcohol. Told her, go and drink anything you want to drink. Just drink at home. Really? We all know that there's data out there that says that when you drink alone, it means you're an alcoholic, right? We all know that. So it's okay for her to go to a strip club where they marginalize women, rape women, brutalize women, right? It's okay for her to drink alcohol, but he's going to beat her for being somebody that God created her to be because I didn't choose to be gay. I didn't wake up one morning and say, hey, okay, what am I wearing today? I'm going to wear my gay. I did not choose to be gay. I didn't. So if I didn't choose to be gay and she didn't choose to be a lesbian and her brother beat her and I will play the video again. She said her brother beat her to the point that he beat the gay, which means he put, he beat her so much that he traumatized her. And there's many kids like that in Nigeria that have been brutalized. Those are the kids that we're looking, we're trying to save so they don't commit suicide. This year, a young woman called Tolu committed suicide because she was tired. Of being harassed women like me don't get it as bad because i'm femme but all the butch women in nigeria are the ones that are going to be beaten because now they'll think they can, men will just see them area boys will see butch women on nigerian streets and start beating them because they think they can kill them and you already know that most nigerian men think that every woman they deserve every woman they believe that every woman is there for the taking. There won't be so much the culture of rape in Nigeria if men, a lot of these men did not believe that the children are theirs and the girls are theirs and the women are theirs. So now let's take it one step further, please. I beg you, just one step, Mary. One step further. Then she turns around and says, <laughs> because the boys didn't like her, she went to women. Really? Boys, she thought boys didn't like her. So she started to date women, which basically means that she broke women that she's dating because she, according to her, she didn't really like women. But honey, you hung out with them. You dressed like a boy because your stupid person thought that's what makes you gay by putting on boys clothing. You put on baggy clothing. How stupid a statement is that? It just shows your level of ignorance. Why even waste your time coming to America? Why waste your time going to university if you're going to be thinking like Baba Shukura from 1929? And then you turn around and go and marry Baba Shukura. So you hate people like me that are married to fantabulous women, living our fantabulous lives, working hard every day of our lives, over accomplishing things just so we can feel normal, feel right. Because stupid people like you that are LGBTQ choose to go around bashing us. It's okay for you to stay in the closet. It's okay for you not to come out of the closet. It's okay for you and your Baba Shukura to be pretending like you're doing the jiggy jiggy and heaven is all heaven. You're seeing stars. We all know it's a lie. Because you can't survive in Nigerian TV as a gay woman. The only gay out woman that I know that lives in Nigeria is Pamela Aida. You go there and tell people that on QVC that you're gay and watch them come in there and lynch you or stop watching your show. 
I'm sitting here on social media. If I shut up and stop talking about my gay stuff and I just give them the content that I give them, they will follow me. A hundred or 200,000 people will follow me. But because I talk about gay rights and gay issues, because I am gay, it's part of my identity. And I have the courage to sit up here and speak my truth. You went up there and lied because somebody was about to out you. You think we're stupid. You did this show today about, um, what's it called? About discipline. About discipline. This show was about discipline. Why in the world do you think it was necessary to talk about your past as a gay lesbian woman who was beating, who the gay was beating out of? Because you have issues. Because you have not reconciled your lesbian self. There's nothing more powerful than owning your truth. There's nothing more powerful than living your authentic life. Until you live your authentic life, you can't be happy. I look in your face. I didn't even, before you admitted to being LGBTQ, every time I watch the show, there's a lot of sadness in your eyes. And I feel bad for you. I feel more sorry for you than anything else because you're not living your authentic life. Now, if you were living your authentic life, you won't feel bad. You won't have to go out there and tell people to go and beat the gay out of people. I mean, thank you, Abiola. It's very unacceptable that she was allowed to air such toxic views. How can you say that in a country where you know that people do public lynching? In a country where you know that they put tires on the necks of gay people and set it ablaze? In a country where you know that even the police harasses gay people and they rape them in jail. Where is your sense of humanity? Where is her sense of humanity? Somebody help me because it doesn't make sense. As I can't even believe she went to school in America and then to, for her to have been, a, a, be, to, to, to have thought she was gay, she said, I think I was gay. Let me bring you the video again one more time before I get off the show because you guys really need to see this. You need to, to put the word out there. You need to talk about this. You need to tell people to stop watching this, this woman and you need people to start to speak for human rights. We need to start to speak for human rights. It's unfair. Oh God, it's sad. I knew my brother, I didn't want to disappoint my brother. I didn't want to disappoint my parents that I left in Nigeria and Canada. So that mentality helped me throughout. So the point is that I understand the Nigerians living abroad. The difficulty, knowing that your, your children don't have an abroad up there, they don't have a home option. I have an open home option, yeah. I'm going home. Mm. They don't have a home option, this is it, they are home. So how do I raise them to ensure that they don't go to get into drugs? You don't get that liberty to just become gay and say, oh, yes, oh, yes, I am, I'm different. I am, I am. Because I had that phase in my life. I shared it between you. I thought I was gay at some point. I was a girl. I just felt I had the accent. I looked out. I just felt like the boys did not like me. And I just, I started hanging out with the gay community. There was a lady, her name was Sarah. She was the head of the gay, gay lesbians in, in, the, in the school. She was at the first, at the top floor. That was her room. People feared her. All the girls. And I used to go there and hang out with the Her name was Susan. So I, so I had that phase. My brother had to slap it out of me. Then I came home and started dancing with the baggy jeans and I brought it away. He, he had to slap it. I remember him beating me as an adult in the US. Hmm. Are you okay? When my mother sends me cream, I wanted to go away again. When we talk about uh, LGBTQ issues, in Nigeria, it's very deep. I get it. I understand. Believe me, I totally understand. And I know that it's a lot of ignorance. That's why it's important for people like this not to have a voice. That's why it's people. It's important for people to speak out. That's why it's important for the LGBTQ Nigerians to stand up to be counted. This is why it's important for the LGBTQ NGOs to start to do what they claim they're doing, collecting all this money from people all over the world. It's very important because they're children killing themselves. They're young boys and girls out there killing themselves. People are not able to find apartments. People are getting raped. LGBTQ people get raped, both men and women. Gay is not an illness. Gay cannot be beaten out. Gay cannot be prayed away. All that stuff, if it was possible, I would be converted. I paid thousands of dollars not to be gay. I serve God. I still serve God. I was in school to become a minister. And I dropped out because a lot of things did not make sense in those days. But I believe in God and God has served me. 
You can tell who God is blessing. You can. When you live your authentic life and you stand up for truth, integrity, and your moral compass is not broken, honey, God will bless you. The universe will bless you as long as you're working hard. There's nothing like sit at home and do nothing. Until you live your authentic life, you cannot get proper love. Those of you guys that are in this closet and you're married to the opposite gender and you're stroking, you're having affairs with women on the side, that's cheating. You're not bisexual. You need to come out of the closet, not to start carrying a flag, but pick one side, stay there. A cheetah is a cheetah is a cheetah. 50% of Nigerian families, married people allegedly cheat. Men think because their women are not sleeping, are not sleeping with men or cheating with men, they're not cheating. It's cheating as well. For us that are married, that paid the price to be out, it's insulting, it's degrading. It's it's just totally despicable to hear Afalabi Mor Morayo, Afalabi Brown sitting there saying, the gay was beaten out of me. And oh, I used to hang out. I used to hang out with the gay community. Honey, speak the truth. You were dating women. You dated women. Nothing wrong with it. And you chose, you prefer the heterosexual privilege because you cannot stand the fire, the heat that those of us that are living our authentic lives that we go through. It's okay. I have no beef with you. You choose not to live your authentic life, shuku to you. But you cannot be advocating physical abuse of the LGBTQ community. That's where I draw the line. I feel very sorry for you. My heart goes out to the fact that you are sad and miserable and you think everybody should join that club. There's no club. There's no leader of the gay community. There's no leader of the lesbian community. And for you to think boys didn't like you, so you started dating women and you want to put that out there, it makes you look stupid. That's the God's honest truth. Because it makes you it's somebody, something I call coined any kind of sexual. Or you're not any kind of sexual. It just, you need to feel better. You're making excuses for your homosexuality. My heart bleeds for you. I feel so sorry for you. The day you have the courage to invite LGBTQ people that are out on your show, reach out to us that are gay. And we will tell you what it, it feels like to be out and gay. You know what it feels like to be gay, but you don't know what it's like to be out and gay, living a regular or outstanding life. There's a lot of us Nigerian LGBTQs that are married. There's a lot of Nigerians that are LGBTQs in Nigeria with successful businesses. Lawyers, doctors, name it. Politicians, name it, we're there. So my thing, I don't want anybody to go around slapping gay people. Don't beat up your children thinking you can kill them, you can't. All you're going to do is push them to the edge where they might try to commit suicide like I did three times, and then it might be successful. We've had a lot of LGBTQ people committing suicide in the past few, maybe a year or two. This year alone, we've had two. Enough. Human rights, human rights, live and let live. You have a right not to be living your authentic life. That's fine. For those of us that choose to be our authentic selves, let us be. There was no reason for you to bring that conversation into the, your show. To, none. You were talking about discipline. You cannot discipline a child not to be gay. You cannot kill somebody from being gay. You can choose to be in the closet Shukut to all of you that are in the closet and choose not to come out. But I ask the LGBTQ community one more time. I'm asking you guys to come out of the closet. And even if you're not going to come out, I ask you guys to stand up for truth. Thank you, Abiola. It's a, a cover-up. I ask you guys to stand up for the truth. I ask you, please, please, please. To understand that they're younger generations that don't feel right about who they are because of this, the families they're born into. We need more visibility out there. We need more people to say, hey, I'm gay. Because the more people that stand up and say, hey, I'm gay, and stop hiding in the closet, the less straight people will be broken because now you don't have to marry them. Heterosexuals will only be marrying heterosexuals. Gays will only be hanging out with gays. We're not even up to the point where we're talking marriage yet. But we have a long way to go. Just don't advocate for us to be beaten. Don't advocate for us to be killed. Don't advocate for us 
for bad things to happen to us and stop saying that we need to, that gay can be beaten out of people. It's unfair, it's unacceptable. It's absolutely not uh, unacceptable. That's the bottom line. Mr. Dewey, I saw your comment. I wish you would come on. I thank God every day for the gift of my being. Shuku to you, Mr. Dewey, for living your authentic life. You're one of the most fabulous gay men I know. You are a godly person. You stand up for human rights. You fight for human rights like a lot of us do. You know, when you've been, when you've been marginalized, you usually understand why it's important to fight for social justice. And that's what we do. My name is Mojisola Wilson, and yes, I'm a Nigerian lesbian woman, very proud of it. I'm a business owner, I'm a philanthropist, uh, name it, I'm a fashion designer, I design accessories. I mean, there's a lot more to me than just my sexuality, and there's a lot of us out there that are doing fabulous things all over the world. Nigerian LGBTQ, we ain't ordinary, we're super powered people. And it's not a club that you can join. You either are or you're not. It's like being black or white. Nobody can recruit you. Nobody can make you gay. You're either gay or you're not. That's it. Let's see. Thank you for your voice and advocacy. Many Nigerians in Nigeria simply after the green dollar. Are you telling me? Why do you think she married a man? She married a man so she can make him money now. She's miserable. Look at her face every day. She looks like a miserable, miserable human being. She just sits there. Miserable. Look at her face. All you have to do is look at her face. She's a miserable person. What do you think she's doing? She's miserable. She can't help herself. But because she's miserable, don't go out there. Every show, even no matter what they're talking about, she brings her, oh, uh, this is the first show I saw her say, I used to be, I used to think I'm gay. Honey, if you used to think you're gay and you were hanging out with gay people in college, honey, you're gay. I don't know how many straight women will just go and hang out with gay people. You won't date it. I don't know any straight person that would date a, a gay person because they think they, it doesn't make sense because the opposite gender doesn't think you're cute. So you start dating women. Really? Mariah for Labby Brown, I think you're gay. You just don't know it. Really, independence can help increase your self-value and self-esteem. More so, Mr. Femi Babalola, how are you? He says, independence can help increase your self-value and self-esteem. More so, if becoming independent is one of your goals. Self-actualization. The achievement of financial, emotional, social, career, and personal independence gives you a sense of accomplishment that is eventually changes how you rate yourself and how others view you. Mr. Babalola, shuku to you. Shuku, double, triple, shuku to you. Thank you for, <laughs> that's my wife. <laughs> you make me blush. <laughs> I am Margaret, I'm proud of you too. I am proud of the person that you are. And thank God we had the courage to live authentic lives and find ourselves and not live a lie. I've never been so happy in my life. I am so grateful that we had the courage to stand up and do right by ourselves, but also by others. Because the moment you start marrying somebody straight, when you're gay, you're breaking that person. And that is what Afolabi Brown does not understand. Morayo Afolabi Brown, shame on you. I dare you to invite me to your show. I dare you to invite Mr. Dewey to your show. I dare you to invite Pamela Aida to your show. So we can talk about what it feels like to be us. And you can stop telling people to beat us up. My name is Wojisolo Wilson. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.